Hey, uh, welcome to the D. Sorensen Terrain Review. Terrain Review Part 1, Timer Started. You know, uh, D. Sorensen sent in this uh, terrain right here, and he had some jiggity jaggedies, jaggedies, and he said, how do I get rid of some of these jiggity jaggedies? And I did a video on this. Then I started thinking about it, and I thought, man, this is kind of a neat piece of property to kind of play with and explore and kind of review. Uh, review what I know anyway of, of terrains and how, how terrains are affected. This is sort of a neat neat piece of terrain. I think it's, <laughs> I don't know, it seems like uh, the terrains are really getting kind of better all the time. And this is a, a render view. If I go to a vector view, you can, I never like their, uh, I guess you can tell a little bit easier what's where the breaks are if you go to render, uh, vector. But I like render. I think render is kind of cool, cool looking. So I, I just want to kind of review this and see what I, what I can remember of, of how all this stuff works. First of all, uh, the, when you do something like this, you start out with a terrain perimeter, and here it is right here. And you got all these uh, uh, inputs that you can uh, play with. General, pad elevation. Let's talk about this pad elevation. What does pad elevation mean? Pad elevation means uh, that means that he's got 11 foot in here. He's got 11 foot in there. What, what does that mean? That means that when you put a house in there that has a zero floor level and the house floor level is at zero, it's really a 11 feet above the zero of the terrain. Where, where the terrain is actually zero. So somewhere in here, there's a contour line where it's actually zero. And so when I put a house in there, it means that the finished floor of that house is going to be 11 feet above that. That's what that means. I finally figured it out. In I don't like it that way. I, I, what I, what I always liked to uh, you uh, polyline specification. You, you. Wait. What what'd I do? Cap. Mm -hmm. You, you. There. What is it? Does he have two lines in here? Yeah, he's got two lines. What, what's what's this? What's what's this? This is a polyline specification. Ah, what do you get that for, man? That's. It's confusing. Just get rid of it. Nothing. This is the terrain perimeter right here. That's the terrain perimeter right here. So uh, what I said is, let's just look at the, the different uh, 11 foot. Now, I, I don't like to do it that way. Um, I do it a little bit differently. Because I, I really, I rarely use true ter terrain elevations. Now, Glenn Woodward swears by this method. And uh, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not. But anyway, bottom line is... His his zero elevation of his house is eleven foot above the zero ter uh, contour of the property itself. That's all that means. What's flat and pad mean? Oh, I don't know what that means. U U. If I undo it, let's see what it changes. I don't know. It's I don't know what it does. It, it, there's a um, there's a minor minor little tick in there. Change. And the question is, should you flatten pad or not? I don't know. I forgot. I don't know what that means. Anyway, who cares? Flat. Flat means uh, if, if you follow the train here, watch this. If you follow the train, I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's good to have a review. Oh, follow train. Yeah, that, that's what it means. See that? See, see, it's just that thick. And what I like to do with this thing, I really like to make this the thickness 12 feet. Or 20 feet. I like to give it some bulk like this. That's kind of cool. And then really, I think I like to you you. I like to uh, make it flat. I like to make the bottom flat. I don't know why. It doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal. But that's that's what I like to do. Uh, you you go back to here. Um, thickness is 12. So I'm just defining. And I'm not sure what 12 feet is. Uh, is it 12 feet at the? No, I, I assume it's 12 feet at the thinnest, at the thinnest portion right here. And then it just gets it flattens out. Big deal. Terrain surface smoothing. Now this is, uh, he's got linear on here. I think for the most part, that's what we use. Because suppose we go to, to low. Watch this. And this this is, amounts to smoothing this stuff out. And linear, I think, saves memory and it's easier on, on Chi. So if I go low, watch, I get this alert. I got 2,463 elevation points. I think that's a lot. It'll take a long time to interpolate that. Well, I like to use linear interpolation. If I press no, if I press no, watch what happens. See, it's going to take a long time to build that terrain. I don't know. It's going to take 10 seconds. So I'm going to cancel it. Yes, I want to use linear interpolation. So what, what happens is it goes back to linear. 
Now suppose I go to high. Suppose I go to high. If I really want to smooth this out, what happens? Oh, it's still 2,463. I don't know. You want to see what happens? Let's just see what happens with it. Oh, that was much faster. High is much faster. I'm going to take quite as... Oh, no. I did it wrong again. Let's go low. <laughs> no, I want to. I want to wait. I want to wait this out. And I want to see how long it takes. So I'm going to put this on pause for a second. I'm going to count it. Okay. I'm at 20 seconds right now. Look at where this is at. 20 seconds. Do I want to keep waiting that long? No. I. Oh. I don't know what happened. It got. Uh, yeah, I want to use it. I, I don't want to waste my time with it. I don't want to waste your time. So we're back to. Uh, to so that's what that means. I guess we always use linear. That makes sense, right? Uh, surface triangular count. I think this kind of, uh, watch this. Okay. I don't think that's going to change anything on this render, but if I go to a vector view, let's see what happens. This is a review, remember? Go back over to here. Uh, you, you. Glenn would probably tell me. How about high? Uh, it, it changed a little bit. I don't know if you saw it. It changed just a little bit. So come back here and uh, go to low. Oh, what did it start out with? I think it started out with low. I think it, I forgot what it started out with. I don't know. I forgot what he had. I got low. I guess maybe he had medium. Uh, it's the number of triangles that creates this thing. And the, 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 the lower the number, uh, the faster it is. And then he's got high terrains intersected by building. I don't like to use this. I think this is a, a, a quick way out. And it makes sense for a lot of people. I don't like to do it, especially if I have like a, a, a sloping land. I, ha I fit my house on the sloping land. And so I have a, uh, if, if, I, if I look at the foundation, if I look at this, the ground underneath the um, raised floor, I like to be able to see that sloping land. I like to see that sloping land so I can see how tall my, uh, my posts and girders are. So I, I just, I've learned to manipulate the terrain so I can keep that. I don't use high terrain, but this is sort of the, the quick way out if you want to do it that way. So that's sort of a quick review here. So uh, I, I'd set this to zero, but that doesn't work if you're going to use true terrain contour lines, real world stuff. And he's using real world stuff. So we'll, we'll keep it whenever he's got 11 foot. Flatten pad, uh, I, I didn't know what that, what was flatten pad? I don't know. Forgot what it was. It didn't make much of a difference that I could see. Uh, we did the thickness already, the linear. Keep it on linear. I think keep it on linear and keep it on low triangular count. I believe that's the way it works and blah, blah, blah. Uh, contours. Let's look at the contours. Um, <clears throat> now, to, to see what he's got here, to cancel this, here's his piece of property right here. And all these contour lines he has. Oh, by the way, let's, let's go ahead and quickly do... Uh, do a quick fix, is what I did on the other uh, render. He's got some jiggity jaggedies right here, uh, HR, right here. And on the other video, I talked about uh, minimizing the, the number of contour lines that affect the terrain. And I think uh, you, you, uh, yeah, the red lines, the red lines affect the terrain. The blue lines are the, uh, were his lines that I converted into uh, simple polylines, but I kept them just so we didn't lose the information. So I forgot again. Blue is blue is nothing. So right here, he's got he's got a lot of contours, active contours right there. So suppose I take these two contours, this contour and this contour, and turn it into just a regular line. And to keep the line, you you, I'm gonna put it on uh terrain. That's where that's where the line was. Now I I created a new layer called no data, which means no data is still there. Bump. Now you can see how it, it smoothed out some of those jiggity jaggedies right here. So that was sort of the whole point of his his question at the very beginning was how to smooth this out. And you know I think he's got. I bet I can get rid of. I bet I could turn this into. Uh, I bet I could smooth this out some more if I turn this into. One of those lines also. The U U line style. Yeah, you can see I smoothed it out even more. T E R 
no data. So he's still got the line. Okay, that's the end of part one. And so I've, I've smoothed it out even further. Okay, I'm going to go to part number two uh, in a second. And that's the end. Part, part one. Uh, it's the uh, D. Sorensen terrain review. End of part one. I might have turned this stupid thing off.